Subscribe to Film Companion for your film fix. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Hi, Mahesh. Hi, Leander. It's great to have you guys on Film Companion. Thanks. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. Um, we are, of course, here to discuss Breakpoint, which is the new Z5 documentary series uh, about your, you know, history-making uh, achievements, um, you know, as playing together. Um, and I guess I have to start with the most obvious question of how did this come about? You know, is this something that you guys approached the platform with? Is it something that came from the directors, Ashwini, Ayatevari, and Tevari? Did it come from the producers? Where did this idea come from to, you know, just capture your journey? Uh, so we've been approached multiple times in the past, uh, you know, but this time, you know, we heard that Nitesh and Ashwin were keen to speak to us. And that's, I think, what intrigued us. So Leander and me got on a call with them on Zoom and uh, very quickly, you know, I think there was, there's a lot of commonalities. I think Nitesh and Ashwini, firstly, are amazing storytellers. And on top of that, they you know, love tennis. Uh, they gave us their thoughts on how they would like to structure the story. Very real, real life and, you know, honest opinions from not only us, but our entire ecosystem, which I think uh, was kind of resonating with us. And that's why we agreed to do it. Yeah, and what about you? So, Jim, we've been getting uh, offers to do feature film uh, for the last 20 years on the Leander Mahesh story. But it just didn't feel right because I don't think this story of a 20-year partnership where you win Grand Slams and you've been number one in the world can be told in 90 minutes or in 120 minutes. I always believe that it should be told in an episode format over a whole series where you can tell different nuances of each individual. You know, each story has so many different individuals involved that their perspectives become important. Yeah. So also, if you see the honesty with which we've done it with, we've not used actors, we've done it ourselves, our parents have played themselves, our coaches have played themselves, our siblings have played themselves, where you've even got interviews from our opponents, the Brian Twins and the Woodies. Martina Hingis is in it, Radek Stepanek's in it. So as much as I'm giving a bit away, it's a very real story of how two young Indian boys had a dream as teenagers to win Wimbledon yeah. and then how they achieved it. We were pioneers at what we did. There was no manual to tell us how to win. And in that, we also made our mistakes. So champions can be vulnerable too. And we tell it very honestly. And, and like you both said, um, you know, I'm sure you've both been approached over the years by the big Bollywood machine for biopics and things like that. So, I mean, and, and I find it very interesting that this is a documentary. You know, we don't really have that sport documentary culture in India. So did you guys have any reservations stepping into this? Because, you know, we, we haven't seen anything like it just yet. So did you have any worries of how it would turn out and things like that? No, I mean, we, ha we don't have the, we, have a, we don't have those in India, but, uh, you know, we have seen global stories uh, told extremely well. And, uh, you know, there were a lot of apprehensions, A, that, you know, to do it, then do it in English, obviously, because that's where the comfort lied. But you know, I think Leander and me always kind of, proud that we are trendsetters when it came to what we've achieved in tennis and we we kind of uh, we were keen to do it and say it, uh, tell it this way and I think hopefully this will set a trend for further you know docudrama specifically in sport as well. Well exactly like Mahesh said I think that uh, what we were pioneering with tennis uh, made us trendsetters with pretty much what we did. So even here when we're actually telling our story to inspire a whole generation of youth that if we two young Indian boys can have a passion to follow our dreams and have a belief in ourselves, when everyone else was asking us, you know, I think that then maybe one young kid will go out there and watch it in five years and 10 years from now and say, yeah, I saw Breakpoint or that Breakpoint inspired me that even maybe I can do maybe champion can do So for us, that is the, the motivation we have. I mean, that's definitely the, the hope. And, and, you know, Mahesh, you said that, you know, you hope that this inspires, you know, more documentaries like it. Um, what we do have in India is, you know, we have the big sporting biopics. You know, it feels like they're making more and more every year. So I'm curious to know from, from the both of you, do you, do you guys feel that those movies do anything for the sporting community and to highlight athletes and put them under the spotlight? Well, it definitely puts them under the spotlight. I mean, if a film's being made about your career, you know, you're definitely under the 
under the pump and under the spotlight. So, uh, you know, it's, I mean, so far, what has Tony, Azar, Saina, uh, you know, a uh, couple in hockey, I think there are lots in the pipeline, but, you know, how, you know, when you, you put something on celluloid, I think it, there's a fictional, fiction element to it. And I think we wanted to tell it, you know, directly uh, from us uh, and from our ecosystem. And that's why we did it in this format. Leon, what about you? Did you feel that, you know, these films, do you feel like they, they do anything for the sporting community? Because that's that's a side we never really hear. You know, when I watched uh, Art and Senna's uh, biopic, it moved me. When I watched Maradona's, I thought it was brilliant. When I watched Pelé, um, I thought that's one of the best biopics told because it was such an amazing human story. And uh, we all know that Pele moved the world of football. You know, when you watch Muhammad Ali, when uh, Will Smith, one of Mahesh and my favorites, did uh, Ali, you know, the, uh, the rum, what was it, the rumble in the jungle in Zaire. I mean, amazing biopics that are out there. And uh, even when you come back home, you know, to India and you look at Dhoni, I mean, uh, Sushant did an unbelievable job there, uh, you know, mimicking the helicopter shot and the wicket keeping and the walking. And I, I, I think that when a story is told very real and very true, then the impact is felt. And that's what we've uh, gone out to achieve here. And, and just speaking of, of movies, I read somewhere that a, a big part of your initial friendship was watching movies together. I read somewhere that, is it true that you, sh you saw Shole together 10 to 15 times? Is that right? We've watched Shole a bunch of times together, but uh, I've watched it 105 times. Wow. Yeah, so we traveled a lot, obviously, full time together. So movies, music, uh, you know, food were, you know, automatic things that we can continuously bonded over. That's wonderful. And, and just in terms of, of Breakpoint, um, I, I'm, I'm curious to know the kinds of conversations you had with the directors in terms of, were there any areas uh, that you didn't want to go to? Because it does go to, you know, very serious territory as well in terms of when you guys stopped playing together. So what were those conversations like? And did you guys want to know what the final product would look like? Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, there were a lot of other personal uh, relationships that were involved in the story and we didn't want it to affect anyone else negatively. So we wanted to make sure that while we told the whole story, we wanted to uh, protect everyone around us. Um, at the same time, uh, did we want to see, I mean, I haven't actually seen the final cut yet. I've seen a few rushes and, you know, obviously the trailer, but uh, yeah, we, we, we have full faith and trust in Nitesh and Ashwini. So, you know, we believe that, you know, they'll deliver what, uh, what we all expect. I think the trust level with uh, Ashwini and Nitesh was just uh, phenomenal right from the first uh, meeting itself. And uh, that is what I'm really, uh, Mahesh and myself are really grateful for is that they were so honest in their craft in how not only we wanted to tell the story, but in how they actually chose the storyboard. So you will be taken for a ride over this whole docuseries. You'll be taken for a journey in every episode, showing different perspectives on different stories. Yeah. So you'll be kept on the edge of your seat right throughout in... Uh, in, you know, what did Mahesh think then? Or what did Leander's father think then? Or what did Mahesh's uh, friend think then? Or what did Leander think then? Or, I mean, it's just different perspectives, which is really unique, you know? You know, it, it's clear from the trailer that a lot of the focus of this documentary is all the history that you guys made together, you know, in, in, in 1999 and on all the sort of titles you guys got. Um, I'm curious to know that in the 20 years since, do you feel that there, there's been much of a change in terms of what we do for Indian athletes in terms of getting the opportunities to make their mark on the world stage, do you feel like we've come a long way in the support we give them? Obviously not. I mean, the, it's a rhetorical, right? If we did, we wouldn't be having the population we had in seven medals at the Olympics. So <laughs> that's, there's your answer. Leander, what about you? I'm just curious to know that, you know, you guys saw it 20 years ago and if there has been much of a change since. I think that, uh, yes, you see... Uh, the way sports has gone in our country, it's been on an upswing over the last uh, three decades. And also you look at the results in the Olympics in Tokyo, right? I mean, uh, seven Olympic medals is the highest we've ever achieved in any Olympics in the history of India playing. Also look at the Paralympics, buddy. It's unbelievable. 
uh, how many medals we've got in the Paralympics. So all in all, you also look at the medals that have been won. Most of them have been won by our female athletes. So I just think that sports in India is on a big upswing. But as much as that being said, I think sports knowledge and sports education is is something that's really required for the masses to to gain from it. That's 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 definitely the hope. And and just lastly, um, I just want to ask you guys, what do you hope people take away from Breakpoint? What what is it that you hope that they really get from from the series? I hope they appreciate the journey, appreciate the uh, you know the success, appreciate that uh, you know we obviously had a, a good amount of success. A lot of it when uh, you know we were on good terms. A lot of it when we were not really uh, on good terms. But you know we were able to see past that and still find ways to you know problem solve and win when we were on court, especially when we played for India, which we are both uh, very proud of. I think that. people will get to see the true essence of how we make champions in our country there was no manual for mahesh or myself to learn that if you do this and if you do that you're going to get to number 1 in the world there's no manual to say that how wimbledon champions are made yeah so you're going to get to see that you're also going to get to see how champions are vulnerable and both of us have done it so honestly that we take responsibility for the things that we could have done better yeah but what i'd love to see is that 5 years or 10 years from now a whole generation of kids turning around and saying you know we watch breakpoint and that's what inspired us to become champions i think then uh, all the hard work from z5 and from earth sky and from collective artists and mahesh and myself will all come true because there are so many people that both of us are grateful to for giving us the opportunity to do break point so we humbly bow our heads and say thank you to them that's that's wonderful and, and we really hope you know that's what happens uh, and and we really look forward to watching it you know you guys have both had such an amazing journey and we really hope the documentary captures that and does justice to your achievements do you guys want to tell us you know when the show is releasing and when where people can watch it <clears throat> yeah it's releasing october 1st uh, on z5 and you know that's obviously available in 190 countries so we're pretty excited that uh, z is taking it uh, to the rest of the world great thank you so much and we hope Thanks. as many people as possible watch it thank you so much guys